growing up my mother always told me about how my face and skin was my passport in this world so therefore i took it upon myself to find importance in maintaining a healthy skin healthy complexion and so i'm going to tell you guys how i cleared my skin because it was looking real disastrous before and it's looking okay now As you can see, my skin is not perfect whatsoever, but you know, it's better than what it used to be. Growing up, I was very insecure about my skin because it was just not giving. And I was so envious of the people around me who had clear skin, like even my own family. Why is it that my sister can go to sleep and not wash her face and wake up with glass skin in the morning? But me, my skin is terrible and I'm doing the most. But that was the problem. I was doing the most. This one product will clear your skin, but never has that worked for me. I've been through almost every brand in the drugstore. Anything you in the drugstore, you name it, CVS, I, I had it. It never worked. And that was because a product on its own is not what's going to clear your skin. You have to change much more than just what you're putting on your face. It comes down to diet to your like small habits just routine like it takes more than just a singular thing that you put on your face to clear your skin so the one thing that i really changed about my diet was cutting down my dairy intake like i'm not a doctor so don't don't try to sit here and say kaina said that i need to not drink milk no i just know that for me personally after learning that milk had cow's milk had pus in it and just a bunch of weird stuff i was like yeah let me just see if i cut out milk will it make a difference and honestly it did my pores didn't look as like i guess full and my my texture wasn't as bumpy and you know crazy looking i also became hyper vigilant about the things that were touching my face i make sure to wash my sheets a lot my pillowcases i switch from cotton to satin and that's also good for your hair as well I used to be a compulsive picker. I don't know what it is, but I was picking at my skin crazy. Like I would sit there like for an hour in front of the mirror and just picking my skin. How do you expect to clear your skin if you keep picking at it? When it came to pimples, I would stop picking at them and I switched to pimple patches. Definitely get into pimple patches because they keep your fingers off your skin and like it'll pop the pimple for you. And lastly, you need a consistent routine. I'm not gonna lie and sit here and say that I've been using the same four products for the past two years, cause honestly, I have not. I'm not gonna say you need a toner or all the extra stuff. You need a cleanser, a moisturizer, and sunscreen. I've learned that for me, buying all these products geared towards acne never really worked. The natural products definitely did something, but it wasn't enough either. The problem for me was that my skin barrier was messed up. After using St. Ives scrub, the notorious scrub that everyone thought would save their skin, I would scrub my skin every night. And I learned that that scrub gives you micro tears, it gives you irritation, and in doing that, my skin became more inflamed and worse. So, and just having a consistent moisturizer, cleanser, and the sunscreen, my skin started to calm down. So like I said before, I'm not going to give you guys a holy grail product because I don't think there is one. I went from using the CeraVe, uh, SA Cleanser, and all those trending products that you see on TikTok. Like, it might work for one person and not for the next person or not for you. So you can't expect a single product to be your holy grail that's going to clear my skin kind of product. No, you need to change things all together. Have a routine all together. The cleanser that I've been using, for the most part, I like to use Dr. Bronner's. Sometimes I don't even dilute it. But this is a powerful cleanser because I feel like I can literally see when I use it, my pores are empty. This is a this is a fantastic cleanser. I'm not gonna sit here and say I use it every day now, but this is the one I use the most. So for me personally, I went through several different moisturizers and I think I have like three top favorites so i definitely love the ponds dry skin cream 
that was really good i also used african shea butter i also really like this the pond's pink cream as well that was really good but i don't have a consistent moisturizer that i say like this is my moisturizer but one thing that i've been trying this one trend that i've been seeing all over social media is the slugging aquaphor and vaseline these two can really repair your skin especially if you have like a bunch of irritation you're feeling like your skin's looking really dry and flaky this can really do wonders i will literally sit there and slather my face at night with aquaphor and the next morning i wake up looking looking young youthful skin looking shiny moisturized and it really is a simple thing that you guys probably think will clog your pores but this will do wonders it'll really maintain your skin don't sleep on aquaphor um anyway so like i said cleanser moisturizer and spf that's in regards to just having a routine to help like calm your skin down in terms of the acne now for hyperpigmentation i'm not gonna lie to you and say that just fades away over time that's a lie you need something to boost like your skin cell turnover and getting getting rid of that dead skin the biggest change that I made to my skin was going from physical exfoliants to chemical exfoliants. And I think the word chemical can be kind of scary for some people, but I honestly believe that the chemical is much more gentler than using a physical like glove or a scrub. I like this better. I eased my way into the ordinary products for chemical exfoliation. Now I have some products here that I use for exfoliation. So recently I just bought the Polish Choice Exfoliator and this is a pretty pricier exfoliator. But back when I was easing into things and just starting, I was using the Ordinary. And this is just as good. I use the Lactic Acid 5% because I think that's the, this bottle's kind of dirty. <laughs> So I use the 5% because that's like the lowest percentage they have. And I was like, I'm not gonna go crazy on my skin and mess it up even more. And then what's also good for dark marks is the azelic acid. This bottle's also dirty. <laughs> the azelic acid, and this is like a cream that goes in your skin at nighttime and it helps with evening your skin tone too. And I still love these products, but I decided that it's Christmas and I kind of want to try a more luxurious exfoliator. It doesn't have any burning sensation. It's very, very calm and it doesn't do too much. You won't have like peeling on your face when you use it. It just like you wake up in the morning and you feel smooth. This last thing is essential. The key to great skin, I feel like. Sunscreen. Please wear your sunscreen. Guys, when I say you will be wasting your time listening and watching this video if you're not going to wear sunscreen after everything you do. First, you can't even use AHAs, BHAs, acids, chemical exfoliations without sunscreen. So that's a given. It's important, it's imperative that you put sunscreen on before you go outside, even if it's not sunny, even if you live in Antarctica, even if you think it's like it's cold, the snow's outside. The sun reflects on the snow, causing the UV rays to be even stronger. So wear your sunscreen even in the winter, guys. So I want to show you guys the, the sunscreen that I'm currently using. So I ordered this little sunscreen off of Amazon. This is a Korean sunscreen skincare line. Uh-oh. The bottle looking, look, looking quite empty now that I look at it. Another favorite that I was using before this, I think it was called Bondi Sands. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. My phone is running out of storage real bad <laughs> and i need to conclude this video so like i was saying sunscreen really transforms your skin in terms of texture and vibrancy i noticed that with consistently using sunscreen my skin became super smooth it had a glow to it i just wanted to summarize my like entire video and i want to make it into a few short points first find a routine cleanser moisturizer sunscreen 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 wear your sunscreen chemical exfoliation for the dark marks but yeah find your routine stick to your routine be consistent be consistent and less is more less is more anyways thank you guys for watching i hope this video was helpful i just want to help my young people who also were struggling with their skin because
because I know that skin could be a very sensitive thing for us. Like when I was going through it, I didn't want to leave my room because my skin looked bad. 